Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be having a look at the V-brake. So the V-brake is this here where you have a uh, little noodle, this little piece of metal here and also the cable that comes down. So when you actuate the brake you can see that it pulls this lever arm and then they both move in together. So what can happen in transit or when you're actually just picking up the bike is sometimes that the handlebars can get turned around past the point at which it should. So you can see straight away that the noodle here is going to collide with the frame and then potentially it's going to stretch this part piece of the, the V-brake and it's going to actually damage it. So you just need to be really, really careful when you're picking up your bike. You just need to make sure that you keep this, this wheel nice and straight. If I turn it around the other way, it would do exactly the same thing, except it can go a little bit further, as you can see, but there will still come a point where the brake will get wrapped around and it will pull on the, on the brake itself. So you just need to be a bit more careful when you're actually loading the bike into the car because it can damage the brake. If you think you're gonna be doing that, then it can be beneficial to squeeze the two levers together, making sure that the, the brake is then open and then you have less chance of you damaging your brakes whilst you're trying to get it into the car, okay? To get it back into it, you need to just push the levers together. You need to make sure you hold this part nice and loose. That will then slot into the middle and then it will clip in nice and easily. Then this little rubber sleeve can go over the noodle interference fit to keep it nice and protected and nice and together. Okay, thank you.